Hey people, how are you doing today? It's your boy Sirekin in here. And uh, you shout out to all my subs when you was an old. Yo, happy having you. Thanks. You're part of the family. Thank you for being there. Supporting me. Supporting even my working English. I appreciate man. So thank you for being there. Once again, thank you for being part of the family, the PlayStation family. Today I want to talk about uh, some claims I keep hearing from the internet and YouTube from people who keep saying that Microsoft will actually won the MPD. Uh, not in, only the MPD, they, they straight up saying that Microsoft will won the holiday season. And according to me, this is misleading people because none of them actually take time and telling you they're only talking first about the US because since uh, uh, November 2013, Microsoft never won a single month world ride against Sony PS4. So in fact now people are coming out and telling you they're going to won that holiday season. Make get some half or even more of false claims, you know? And I still remember the deal Microsoft have to get in order to make the numbers light so they can win the US for two, three months last year. You were able to get an Xbox One for like 200, uh, 350. You were able to get with it three games for free, three sixty dollars game. And at some retailers, you were you were even able to get a full year subscription of Xbox Live. That's another sixty bucks. If you add everything together, you go to $240. So the console itself was like um, $350. Plus they give away like uh, $200.40. So it's like you were paying only $110 bucks for that console. Is that what you're calling a winning? For only one region? So you can... I don't know, man. I, I'm not sure the shareholders will be happy with it. They probably chop up your heads. Okay. And call it a human sacrifice. Or a dumbass sacrifice. I don't know. <laughs> so, it's not what I'm calling winning. Also, uh, the only system seller Microsoft getting for the holiday season is Halo. Halo 5. Tomb Raider is not a huge game on xbox uh, brain and it's not an exclusive now everybody knows it's a time exclusive square enix came out and finally speak about it so now we all know so it's not a system seller fable legend it's a free to play game also on pc so no big deal here forza okay some hardcore racing game uh, hardcore forza lovers going to go out and buy it but it's still not a system seller so they only holds up with halo okay and according to me the halo 5 fanboys the well fan of halo will already be playing that game before december before the end of uh of november they'll be buying that they'll be buying that game way before the end of the year so they might end up still winning the MPDs for the US only, okay, not worldwide. So people stop telling us that Microsoft is going to win the holiday season. It won't happen, okay. Last year, they get that ad spank worldwide. And we, you damn well know that's what's going to happen again. <laughs> just saying, just saying. I'm just the messenger. I'm just the messenger, the sunny pony messenger. <laughs> so it doesn't matter man so if you come out and telling people stuff please clarify okay because USA 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 doesn't mean the world okay the world worldwide is the real battle okay winning one little fight in one area of the world won't make you a winner okay it doesn't matter in the end you will still get that aspect elsewhere, well, right. Uh, what else? Uh, 
next month, Sony is going to TGS. Probably we're going to get some news there, some exposure from the PlayStation. And beside, uh, Microsoft not going. But it's funny how the media are not making a big deal with it. Yo, I'm not dumb. I know why uh, they're not going. They're not doing that good in Japan, so they like fuck it. But it's funny how the media was at Sony throat when they didn't go to Gamescom. But now it's okay. Microsoft not going. Yeah, they're not doing that good. It's okay. But Sony's doing good uh, in Europe. But yeah. So next month is TGS. A month after, in October 27, it's uh, Paris Game Week. Hmm. Coincidence, the same date uh, Halo 5 come out. Uh, yeah, probably a coincidence. I know Sony not cocky that that come on, Sony. Not like that. <laughs> so they probably going. I think that there will be good news. More great news uh, on uh, Paris Game Week because it's the day Halo 5 is coming out from Sony. Then actually TGS. There might be good news at TGS, more, more, more for the Asian people. And we'll be when we in the uh, North America will be like praying so those games could be localized and stuff or stuff like that. We'll see, but I think the bigger news will be at uh, Paris Game Week and at the end of the year, PSX. I think it's uh, December 5 and 6. Plus now, I think Sony is going to get also that bundle with Battlefront. Probably going to get that bundle with uh, Call of Duty. Plus there's uh, Fallout coming out that's going to destroy Tomb Raider. They might end, Microsoft might end up get, uh, winning uh, the US again, but they will struggle. One, one other reason why they will struggle even to win uh, the US it's because there's no way they will be able to give you those crazy deal they gave you last year. The shareholders, the Microsoft shareholders came, uh, shareholders came out and asked uh, Microsoft to turn profit into the hardware. So there's no way you're going to get a console for 110 bucks this year. And I have a feeling they're stupid enough to think they're having the momentum now. <laughs> also, because Phil Spencer running his mouth a lot. We'll see. So that what that what I'm thinking about the subject. Just want to talk about it a little bit and uh, talk about those people who's uh, straight uh, who's there straight uh, telling me uh, Microsoft will want the holiday season, which is not true. This is not fully true. They might want the holiday season in the U.S., but they're still going to get that aspect worldwide. So I reckon I'm out. Have a nice day. Hope you're doing good. And my new and old fan, thank you for being there. I really appreciate it. I really do. Okay? Bye-bye.